So what's up? It's your boy, Ala Fifth Zero. And once again, I just have it proven to me that the. So today's episode is going to focus on death. Alright? Death comes for us all one way or another. But it's really, really bad when those deaths are self-inflicted. Alright? So yeah, we're talking about the S word that we can't say on, on YouTube. Because I, I guarantee saying stuff like unalive and self-delete. I mean, I'm sorry, those terms. I'm sorry, I, I think... I, 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 I think those are inane terms because it's just like why is that particular word banned from this platform like how are we supposed to talk about real issues if we gotta police our freaking wording but YouTube's a private entity we signed we all signed a TOS before we hopped on this site so I have to adhere by it this kid took himself out and a depression while being in love with an AI of Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. And normally, when I hear a story like this, in fact, let me, let me, let me rewind back a little bit. See, I originally read about this story, I think I saw it like, on a Twitter post or something, and I'm like, dang, that's messed up. But of course, like most stories like that, hey, I feel for the family. And mind you, I just recently had a death in the family, so of course, I feel for them. But it's one thing to just feel that way. It's another thing when you come to find out that the people in the story that you just happen to read are connected to people you know. So yeah, you know that the fam's going to be bugging. The fam's going to be, you know, in mourning. But now it's kind of different when you actually see that mourning. You actually hear that mourning. You actually feel that mourning. All right? So now, the story's breaking, and the uh, company uh, that made the AI is getting sued, which makes sense. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. You know I mean, it was your product that helped this happen. The chat logs don't fucking lie. All right. But when I see these people in the comments talking shit. Oh, damn. Broke the curse barrier. Anyways. People in the comments is talking shit. Nick, what the fuck is wrong with these people, bro? Alright? A kid freaking died. And you want to talk smack and blame the parents? Oh, really? And, and I guarantee these people that are talking smack either A, don't got no kids. B, probably got kids that hate them. Or kids that they can't even freaking see. Alright? Alright? Because you know for a fact that it was your kid, if somebody was talking smack about that, you would have a fucking problem. Alright? Like, everybody's always acts like they're so perfect on the internet, and I can't, I can't stand that. Alright? Me, I know I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. Somebody told me I was perfect, I'd be like, that's a cat. But, to you holier than thou's out there, fuck y'all. All right, this is a fourteen-year-old boy, bro. He had his whole life ahead of him. He could have done shit with his life and became a, a, a proper and productive member of society. Meanwhile, we got these like unruly, like and another thing. There's a lot of people who say stuff on the, they'll say stuff with their keyboard that will never say with their own fucking mouth. All right. I've never been one of those people. If I got, if I'm gonna type it, I'm gonna say it. And if somebody walks up to me and like, oh, I, I see what that shit that you said on Facebook, want me to repeat it for you? That's what I wrote. All right, I'm been a real one since 1984, bitch. All right, I keep it real. So when I say, if I heard somebody saying some shit like that, I'm gonna text somebody in the fucking mouth. It's, and it's easy. And I understand it's easy. It's easy to talk shit about death when it's people you don't know, don't have connection with. Like, for example, uh, a couple years ago, 
Uh, we lost Jason David Frank uh, of Power Rangers fame. All right? And a friend of mine was sitting there making jokes about it. And I checked him. Because I'm going to see him. That was my boy. All right? Now, we wasn't like tight, tight or nothing like that. But every time I had the pleasure of, of, of meeting that guy or being in his presence and stuff, he always showed a bubble love. In fact, in this picture here, it literally was right after, all right, he was doing a signing at a convention, right? And I showed up to the signing late. But he remembered me from the last time we crossed paths. So he was like, hey, let him in, let him, let him in. You all right? And of course, since that first time I met him, I was, I was, I was definitely, you know what I'm saying, well, I was joshing him. You know what I mean? And he joshed me right back. <laughs> and it was funny, and it was a good time. You know what I'm saying? He signed my watch, especially hung up on my wall over there off screen. But when you actually encounter somebody flesh and bone, that's as real as it fucking gets. So when you hear that somebody that you was able to look in their eye and talk to them, shake their hand, and now they dead, now they're gone, that's never, they'll never be able to do that ever again. You'll never be able to hear them laugh or, or sorry, I'm getting a little teary out here. Um, it hurts. It really does. So when you hear about these stories about what's happening to other people, you normally don't get to see all the mourning all the tears, all the crying that's happening with they with their friends and their family. All right, and that's stuff people don't take into consideration when they get on these forums and in these comment sections talking shit. Like, I wish I could develop the technology to reach through the phone, just reach through the phone and smack a nigga in his shit. Because I guarantee a lot of people. Anyways, this kid literally had a textual online relationship with an AI, and he talked to the AI about killing himself, and it didn't, it wasn't programmed to talk him out of it. Why? Ain't that one of the first things you're supposed to make sure that you do with your AI? To recognize shit like that? So, a company character that AI, you people failed. You failed to put out a proper product with proper safeguards to prevent stuff just like this. And I hope, I hope his mom, Megan Garcia, gets every fucking dollar that she wants out of you. Because most of the time, when it comes to this kind of stuff, just like they said in Jurassic Park, And that's all I have to say on the matter. Because it's what I do. Because the internet ain't shit. This has been your boy, LFF Zero. If you like what you've seen here, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Holler at your boy. Try to get these YouTube numbers up. Alright? Try to hit this road to 3,000 followers and beyond. I want to get one of them plaques on my wall. See that blank spot directly over my head? Right there? Right there? Right there? That's why I want that first YouTube plaque. All right? Help a brother out. So until next time, love peach and chicken grease. I'm out like fat kids in dodgeball. Thank mm -hmm. you.